Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. All right. Hello. Hey, hi, everybody. So let me go ahead and just get... Uh, oh, hey, I got a reset. Let me go ahead and get into the game, and I will explain what's going on. Hey, hi, it's Rain World. I haven't seen this for a while. Oh, man. Okay, so... Um, a member of the community, Wilbert, has made what is called a Master Quest or New Game Plus mod for Rain World. It is a mod that will seek to give you a new experience with reshuffled enemies and maybe reshuffled levels. I have not completely looked into the, uh, the exacts to, uh, you know, save myself from spoilers. But in a nutshell, this will give us a new Rain World experience because things will be different. We'll be going to different places. Maybe things will be in a different order. I have no idea. I think that, okay, so there's no DLL that's with the mod, which if you know anything about Rain World modding, you know that if there's any programming changes, you need to offer a DLL to do those programming changes. So this is all world file stuff. So we're going to have at most like new enemy assortments and new level assortments but it is not going to be much more than that um for anybody who's wondering like oh yeah hey why is barch here uh what's going on like uh you haven't played rain world in forever i mean i got bored yo you know i mean you can only play a, a game for so long especially something that is like rain world where it actually has like very little uh you know going on with it and it's a very finite game. Honestly, I was waiting until uh, more Slughead's expansion was out, which Wilbert is also working on, by the way. Ooh. Before uh, returning to Rain World. But uh, Wilbert forced my hand and made something cool, and I want to check it out. So that is going to be that. Funnily enough, uh, this was something that I was actually kind of thinking about doing myself because, uh, you know, I learned the world editor for this game and I learned how to, you know, reshuffle enemies and whatnot. I actually did do a little bit of something. I made some world files for some very simple enemy changes. So I had stuff like, oh yeah, let's double the amount of vultures that are in possible in the world. Um, I did stuff like remove all wandering scavengers, you know? Nothing big, but it's something. So I'm excited to do this. Um, I don't know exactly right now how I'm going to be doing this. I'm not going to be streaming this, by the way, because my internet has been spotty since this whole crisis has started. And I don't know, it's kind of just a bad time to stream right, right now. Um, it is currently 11 p.m. where I'm at. But so streaming was right out. Um, I am curious if I'm going to upload like unaltered like let's play footage or if I'm going to just going to put up like a highlights file for everything that happens. But uh, I mean, you're watching the video. So whatever happens, happens. If it's edited from here on out, I decided on editing instead. It's OK, buddy. It's OK. Chill out. Ch chill. Stay chill. Stay chill. Um, this is actually the uh, the first video that I'll basically be uploading, uh, just all on my lonesome while the uh, the crisis has been happening. So, um, so I I live in Cass Grand, Arizona, and uh, we have been dealing with the crisis like decently okay. It's very hot here. So people keep their distance from each other anyway during the uh, the summer and the winter. Well, maybe not so much during the winter. It's actually really nice here during the winter. So ooh, I didn't think about that. That's gonna be that's gonna be bad once uh, once winter hits because everywhere else people will be keeping their distance from each other during the winter. At least you would hope that people wouldn't do like Christmas celebrations and whatnot while this is all going on. Um. But uh, yeah, I've been uh, I've been you know decently okay. I've been hanging in there. I haven't. None of my family have caught the uh, the uh, the virus as it stands. Oh man, don't want to get demonetized. Never on YouTube. Thanks YouTube. Um, but I I'm more worried about other people than I am worried about myself as it so stands. This looks like the entrance to yeah. 
Huh, so that is now a high level entry point. So that's an easy little thing that uh, Wilbur did. Although even like the location of this is much different because this would usually go up to like the top left tower, but this seems to be going to the middle tower instead. So that's kind of fun. Uh, we'll go ahead and spend a spear to get this, even though it's probably, you know, nothing. I wonder if uh, Wilbur like changed the, uh, the collectibles at all. At least where they are. I wanted to get a spear and take that with me, but uh, you can't get everything that you want. You can't always get what you want. Yeah, demonetized again. I'm on a roll today. Let it be said. Um, I'm going with Survivor because I frankly don't enjoy Hunter that much. Um, as for like other mods that are honestly like with this uh, this whole setup that I've got right now, we are only really running with Wilbur's uh, master quest file. Uh, you have the option of running with a whole bunch of different mods if you want. You know, you can throw Lancer on here, you can throw Winkat on here and have a lot of fun with that. But I want the uh, the mostly vanilla Master Quest experience. So that is what I'm going to be going for. I have not been eating food at all. I'm a dummy. I'm treating this like... It's the normal game. When I shouldn't. One more bat, and we have the option of sleeping. Oh, lordy lord. I'm playing with fire here. Got my worst enemy, bats. Bats. There we go. Okay, and then we can go ahead and sleep and get ourselves a level. Oh man, having to get levels again. I actually usually play with Nifless, which is a text file mod, which will make it to where you don't have to worry about the uh, the gates, but that's not a thing anymore. Hey, we almost got caught by the rain. Oh man, imagine that, getting caught by the rain in Rain World. It's almost as if I'm not used to uh, the way that levels are, and I'm like treating it like, you know, I'm an expert at it, when I will no longer be an expert at it. But for real, I hope that everybody is okay during the crisis, and if, uh, you know, me producing content can offer some entertainment while you are stuck at home, then I am happy to provide. Although I feel like most everybody is watching Netflix instead of watching YouTube. It feels like watching, uh, you know, certain, like, normie channels, but hey, not everybody is a normie, so anything is possible. Yeah, later, son. Get juked. Hey, this seems different, I think. I kind of like in this new uh, first level arrangement that uh, Wilbert has got going on. Yeah, I knew you were going to do that, jerk. Nope, nope, no fruit for you today. Go home. Nobody likes you. You are unloved and left to die by your mother. It's a needle nose. You know, I've actually forgotten the actual name of those. Uh, the community calls them newts. I know that much. As a nickname, but I've actually forgotten who they are. Oh, hey, we got the, uh, the toll spa here. I most likely will not be able to grab that. I'm starting to think that Wilbert really wanted me to go to the right. Uh, 
Oh, uh, it's gonna be our battle for food for sure. Um, we're even. Okay, we got a decent amount of time left. We do still have to worry about food. We could eat one of these newts, but the mother would get mad at us. And they're honestly kind of hard to grab. Anyway. I'm playing with fire. I shouldn't have done that. Where's mama? Where's book mama? She coming. Oh, she coming. Oh, Lord, she coming. Come here. Let me nom on you. God, this is going to be so interesting because I've never actually, like, really done Let's Play content for uh, for Rain World on my channel. So if I turn this into a Let's Play with, like, mostly unedited footage, that will be, like, a first for me. Because most everything on the main channel is... Uh, very edited snippets of Rain World. It might be fun, honestly. It might be fun just to, uh, to make a, uh... Mm -mm. Don't get caught. Don't get caught by Mr. Lizard. He'll eat you up and spit you out. Um, I... Oh, this is different than I was expecting. That's okay, though. I think I still know where I am. I have a decent idea of where my map is. By the way, I might even use the map button for once. Because I almost never use the map button on my own in Vanilla Rain World at this point, considering I've got everything memorized, but, uh, nothing is the same anymore. But yeah, I even just, like, using, like, sense of direction. I could actually pinpoint where the beginning, uh, safe spot is. So we will save again to raise our level again. Hope that we don't die. We don't actually have any of the karma flowers, which will make it to where we lose level when we die. You know, one thing that I thought of when, you know, just generally making Rain World content is the idea of making some tutorial videos, making, you know, just some stuff about like, oh yeah, this is what this means, this is what that means, and this is how you should survive, and, you know, it's a really good strategy to use this against these lizards. And honestly, I think if the lifespan of the game had been a little bit longer, I might have ended up doing that. You know, because I'm always the type of person that's thinking about, like, new players and the new player experience with this game. But, uh, the game kind of died. The game kind of died, and it just, I don't think that there's, it's getting many new players at this point. So, you know, I just be making content for, uh, veterans. Making a tutorial content for veterans, which really... Doesn't make much sense. So that didn't quite work out. Um, there's a bunch of ideas that I've had for content for uh, for Rain World, but either for lack of interest or because I didn't think it would quite work, it just never really uh, got made. So hopefully, uh, just you know, this entire Let's Play series as it stands will make up for that. This is also, uh, I'm realizing, going to be one of the few times when I'm doing, like, solo content. Because usually on the streams and whatnot, I had a friend along and I could, uh, you know, react along with them and bounce off of them for, like, topics and whatnot, but, uh, right now, not so much. I wonder if people would feel like it fits or if it would be weird if I just started talking about, like, other topics, even though there's nobody else here. You know, in the uh, the Game Grumps Let's Play style of ignoring the game and just talking about something interesting. This being over here is interesting. So what Wilbert has done... I wonder if Wilbert made any new maps or if they just reshuffled maps. Reshuffling the maps is interesting all on its own. So I'm completely down for it, even if that's the case. Oh, I gotta hurry up and get out of here. I don't like being in this corner. Eh, we got the unlockable. Fine. It does. I shouldn't grab the unlockables. I've grabbed the unlockables so many times, and like, actually, I've never like 100%ed it. But it's because I don't actually like the uh, the 100% method for this game. Come on, get grabbed. Get eight. Get eight. Get eight. Get eight. Fuck yes. Fuck yes. Plant gang. 
Plant gang, rise up! Hell yeah! <laughs> Got so excited. There's so much food on the right side compared to the left side of this new map. You know, does the map actually function and work? Maybe not. Yeah, maybe not. Yeah, you actually have to make, like, maps on your own? Or you have to put those in with, like, a DLL? I don't know, I kind of forget. But non-functioning map, that's going to kind of suck for uh, for newbies, but newbies probably shouldn't be playing Master Quest in general. This is definitely a mod that is made for us veterans that are just dying for, like, a slightly new experience. And I did mention it, but it is still amazing to me that Wilbur made this when... Wilbert is already working on more Slug Cats expansion. Granted, this is a much, much lower in scope for more Slug Cats expansion, but it also serves like more or less the. Is he stuck? He's stuck in the wall. That's funny. Oh, I want to dig. Oh! Ugh, it doesn't matter. Is there actually any way... I didn't see if there was like a, uh, a door on the other side here, so let me go ahead and see what's going on over there. It is so funny to me that you got stuck in the wall, by the way, dude. Oh, oh it's this! Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Um, I want to see what's right here, even though I see that there is the safe spot over to the left there. I will go over to the safe spot. We want to get to maximum levels so that we can start uh, exploring some zones. Although I have a feeling that this is this used to be next to farm arrays. It's going to be funny walking into a room and just being like, oh, this is next to farm arrays. Oh, this used to be an industrial. Although, actually, no, no, no. Wilbur hasn't gone that far yet. It has not changed, uh, you know, region maps being in other region maps. The shelter being over here is kind of funny. Assuming this thing isn't lying to me. God, I'm actually so scared of Iggy being basically a liar because Iggy needs to be also like uh, programmed for each individual like region. There are some regions in Vanilla Rain World that Iggy is programmed to not currently work with. Uh, that is one of the things that Topicular and me changed for Easy Mode Mod Pack. Well, specifically Topicular, honestly. Topicular needs all the credit for that considering it was Topicular's idea and implementation. But Topicular made it to where Iggy works in more regions with easy mode mod pack. You are mean, good sir. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Okay, so we're back where we were at, but we might be able to get something new working considering that we are at max level. So I, I do find it a little bit frustrating that I went left when going right would have probably yielded a region. I'm trying to, like, not exactly, like, sequence break, you know, but I feel like we are going to end up sequence breaking anyway. We could go down and to the left and see what happens, because that used to be, you know, like, the sewers, but might not still be the sewers because we know going up and to the left will yield a high level area that is somewhat like farm arrays or maybe something even worse. What if Shaded Citadel was right next to the uh, the starting point? Wouldn't that be hilarious? That'd be hilarious to me and probably nobody else. Well, I don't know. Some veterans would definitely uh, enjoy that. Um, I can't do what I want to do here. You can't always get what you want, and I hate it. 
So I think that this does more or less lead to the exact same spot. Which is a tiny bit disappointing. Uh, how much more time do I have? Not much, not much, not much, not much, not much, not much. Oh my good lord, yo. Doesn't this area, like, go down? Yeah, I, there was still a way to go down over here. Mm, I'm gonna search that out and hope for the best. We do have a Karma Flower, so we won't lose level if we die. So there's that, at least. To enjoy as being a feature. I am so freaking lost right now. There isn't anything over here. This this all goes back to the same place. God, God, I've wrapped around so much. I'm gonna have to check to the right there, honestly. Hmm. Day one over. I am completely lost. I have no food. I have no friends. Did I say that I had no food? Because I do have lots of food, actually. I'm kind of a fat bastard right about now. I'm big chilling in that particular way. Full stomach, let's go. We will try and explore instead of just like saving at the same uh, zone. If you just want levels, you actually can just go back inside of the uh, the same shelter. But I want to explore and I want to find a new area. I want to try and find specifically... What I really want is I want to find a region gate that has a low-ish kind of level to insinuate that it is a place that you first want to go. Instead of being something like that high level gate where it would probably lead to the end of the game instead of leading me to the mid game where I want to be. This still goes nowhere, right? Like, the right passage is still not anything. So we want to, like, I think what we want to do, if anything, is go top and to the right. It's showing that there's a shelter back that way. I don't believe you. I'm going to start not believing Iggy. Which is funny, because I think I did, like, disbelieve Iggy even in the normal game. And I started not paying attention to Iggy at a certain point, because I felt that uh, they weren't exactly leading me to the shelters. Which is sort of true. They don't, like, you know, like, beeline you there, but they point you in the general direction of where goodies can sometimes be. I'm gonna die when a lizard comes out of here. Okay. Good, 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 good. All right, yeah, let's try and head like top and right this time. I figured we can do it. If we work hard, there's no telling what we can do. Oh, but that ends up here. Okay, so the right fork still leads absolutely nowhere. I do wonder if I'm also being told not to exactly go this way. Oh, hey. A bug met with a terrible fate. So, like... Okay, check this out. Oh, there we go. 
Oh, don't mess up. Okay. Still got it. Still an expert. Hell yeah. Mmm, we found our way here. We still don't have enough level for whatever region is behind there. I will take you bet. Oh my god, um... Hmm. Oh, that's very confusing indeed. Funnily enough, I do think I am making some kind of headway. How much longer do we have? Alright, we got about, like, maybe 15, 10 minutes. Oh, hey. There's a shelter right here. Alright, alright. I can't make my way to anything except for this zone, so I may as well check out this high-level region. I'm gonna be amazed and scared based on what's behind this gate. I just know it. Oh, by the way, for anybody who loves Rain World, uh, I recommend Noida. So, a lot of people look at me like, but those games aren't similar at all. Like, Rain World is like a, you know, story-driven, well, not story-driven, but kind of, you know, a uh, survival kind of platformer with, like, food and, you know, survival stuff, but... And Noida is a roguelike. They can't possibly be, be the same, but if you enjoy the, uh, you know, interactions and finding out how things tick in Rain World, I think that you will enjoy Noida. And honestly, they're both balls hard. So you have that to enjoy if you enjoy balls hard difficulty. Uh, the movement is very different. The games play very differently. I just think that if you are dying to have something that is at least a little bit like Rain World, uh, Noida is not a bad spot to go to. Get the freak out of here! This is my hole. My hole. Wait, wait, wait! Nope. Give me you. You're very active and I'm taking you instead. Especially considering that I may or may not, uh, you know, need you. Alright, high level zone, let's go. I really hope that Wilbert puts something over here that's gonna be like very, very different. The one thing that I'm being disappointed by so far is just the, uh, enemies spawning in more or less an expected way. Like, we didn't see anything in the first level that would have been unexpected. So this is Chimney Canopy. You wanted to kill me that badly, huh? I wonder, is that actually going to be able to... Really? Oh my god. I just gotta see if this guy is able to call someone down. Yep. What do you know?
So, like, as long as a room is open to the sky, like, it's not a complete box, you can call down a vulture. Like, I know, like, game mechanics-wise how that kind of thing functions. God, going to Chimney Canopy. So, Outskirts connects to Chimney Canopy now. I enjoy that. That is, you know, a, a decent little uh, mix-up. It also does make a lot of sense for Chimney Canopy to have a high-level uh, gate. Oh boy. The little ones are coming. It'll be okay. It'll be okay. It'll be okay. <laughs> Just fine. Still got it. I am slightly worried about my skill level because, you know, I haven't played this in freaking ages. But honestly, it's kind of like riding a bike. You never quite forget how to fit kill a vulture. After your first time, that is. By the way, if you're still playing Rain World or watching Rain World and you haven't killed a vulture, I highly recommend trying to kill a vulture. That is the best feeling in the world, and I recommend it for everybody. Oh, there was a camel lizard there. There is just a karma flower down here. Yeah, I forgot that does nothing. Okay. All right, time to get out of here. How much time do we have? Half a day? It shouldn't be amusing, but it is still amusing that I'm using, like, the basic game functions that I never use. And also, as long as I'm shouting out games, uh, I've been playing this game called Gato Roboto lately, which is a very cute and small and cheap little Metroidvania, and I love it, and I highly recommend it. Um, the, uh, the, the hook for the game as it stands is that you play a little cat who pilots a mech suit. And you get lost in, like, this little, like, Metroid kind of world, honestly. It's very reminiscent of something like, you know, Super Metroid, Metroid Fusion. Except that it's, the entire world is in monochrome. You know, you got black and white, and you can also get, like, filters to, like, change those colors. Okay, hi, I did not see you there. You you did your job very well, Camo Lizard. You almost got me. I want nothing to do with lizards. Don't give me lizards. Give me freedom or give me death. <laughs> Oh, you're mean. You have a very high mean value. Oh, 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 jeez. Don't you dare grab my fucking spear, you piece of shit. No, no, no. I got it. Ugh. Oh. What dangerous places we have gotten ourselves into, Borch. Uh, you know, this actually is reigniting my uh, my joy with this game. Uh, good job, Will. Great job. Will is a fantastic modder in the community, and I recommend literally anything and everything that they make. Oh, I see. Uh, their biggest project is going to be uh, more Slug Hats expansion. 
So you really aren't going to see the best thing that they've ever made until that comes out. Ooh, that was scary. Why do you have to go down the center? I heard him. I just thought he would go down left or right. Anywhere but the freaking center. Oh, this might be a mistake. Oh, God. Okay. We're good. We're good for now. Oh, there's so many lizards. So many fucking lizards! <laughs> ah! Damn you! Oh, hey. Oh, there's only one way out of here. Oh, where are you going to lead me next? What horrifying thing are you going to lead me to? Nope. 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 Don't want where you're Oh, why? You have to put a camel lizard here. <sighs> Uh, okay. It's okay. It's gonna be okay. I would have been so mad if that wasn't actually a platform. I do have to remember the tech that this game has. It's like, move faster and get... Oh! Why did I not notice him? I kind of want that pearl. Well, I'm not going to risk my life for it. God, we got to go... We got to go left and we got to go past that camo lizard. It's the only way. Nope, 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 nope. Fuck you. We could go up and see if I'll takes us anywhere, but I can't imagine it doing anything. Mm, mm, mm. No! He dropped... Oh! God! Ah! Uh, you jerk. I'll kill you next time I see you. Don't believe I won't, because I will. Whatever the situation, next time I see a vulture, I'm killing it. Oh, uh, that'll be a fun thing to follow up on. Uh, all right, so I actually only had a little bit of time for recording time tonight. So this will be the end of this recording session, regardless of what video this actually turns into. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed the video, and we'll see you next time for more Master Quest in Rain World. Later, everybody.